Happy Friday, everyone. Later today, Vice President Kamala Harris will be revealing her economic plan if she becomes president. Most of these policies that she will be revealing are okay. However, there's one policy where I really don't agree with, and that is the uh, food and price gouging policy. Historically, uh, supermarkets uh, only have about 1% to 4% profit margins. And in 2023, their profit margins dipped down to about 1.2%. This compared to profit margins of 8.5% amongst all industries. Uh, and a lot of the reason why grocery costs are still high is due to high inflation generally. And uh, I think the best way to fix, you know, high prices at the supermarket is to increase food supply, create incentives to increase food supply. That'll bring prices down. But um, incorporating a, a price gouging law, especially since uh, supermarkets only have one to four percent profit margins and one point two percent last year in 2023. Um, is only a band-aid on the problem and won't solve the underlying problem, um, especially because I think increasing uh, and incentivizing increased food supply is more important than putting a band-aid on the problem with making uh, these price gouging rules. Other uh, policies that she's going to unveil uh, are a little bit better, in my opinion. I think that uh, removing uh, medical debt um, is a good thing. She also wants to give a $6,000 tax credit for families uh, for, for that have children for the first year of their life. She wants to also uh, cap uh, out-of-pocket prescription drug costs, um, which, um, which is still pretty good as well. And also she wants to give a $25,000 subsidy for first-time home buyers, which could help obviously first-time home buyers buy homes because homes are very expensive. The only thing I worry is if this money it might inflate um, the housing market a little, a little bit more. It might add to more inflation. So although it kind of uh, helps home buyers out, I'm worried about the underlying consequences because it doesn't solve the underlying problem. Same as the price gouging uh, rule that she's proposing. Yes, it's um, a good idea in theory because inf uh, food inflation is so high. Um, however, unfortunately, it doesn't solve the underlying problem. It's a Band-Aid, but, um, but overall, most of the policies that will be unveiled are pretty good, except for the price gouging thing, really, in my opinion. And I also wanted to talk to talk about a, um, some bipartisan momentum for sensible and comprehensive crypto legislation. Uh, Senator Chuck Schumer uh, joined the call, pretty much saying that he would like to pass um, crypto innovation sometime this year. So, uh, so that the U.S. isn't left behind in uh, crypto technology. So right now we're starting to see more bipartisan momentum um, for crypto, which I think is important because we don't want to fall behind in this technology because if we are unfair in our regulation and we regulate by enforcement instead of working with the crypto companies to produce fair and sensible regulation, this innovation will go overseas and will be left behind. So... I think that's good news in terms of this positive bipartisan momentum. Let's see what happens.